Channel 2 investigates continues to track problems with the Houston Fire Department's aging fleet. Tonight, another ambulance breakdown. Somebody snapped a photo showing a fire truck pushing that ambulance at the Southwest Freeway near Hillcroft. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum live tonight with the critical issue that just will not go away. Joel? Yeah, and Dominique, before we launch into yet another tale of HFD's equipment problems, I do want to say that today was a good day for the Houston Fire Department. Big donations rolling in, including two of these high water rescue vehicles, one of them stationed here at Station 57, just off Memorial on the west side. That was really the focus of our story at 5. Now at 6, unfortunately, some of the old problems resurfacing. It's becoming an alarming problem. HFD emergency apparatus breaking down in dangerous places. Most recently, Ambulance 80 on Sunday, dead on 59's main lanes. It had to be pushed to safety by a fire engine. Chief, what's going on? Uh, I drove out there uh, to see what the issue was. And, uh, you know, we had mechanical problems with that ambulance. Uh, you know, it's no secret, Joe, that, that we've been, uh, we were dealing with an aging fleet. Just a few weeks ago, another HFD crew had to push another ambulance out of peril. And Channel 2 Investigates has documented this problem. A couple months ago, it was Ladder 51, a backup anyway, stalling in the middle of Bel Air, and it was on a call. It took two critical minutes to restart that fire engine. Uh, while we all understand that um, things break, uh, when it becomes the norm and not the exception is when we realize that the alarm needs to be sounded. I don't think it is an exaggeration to say that we have been covering HFD equipment triumphs and tragedies for years now. You can find each and every one of those stories on click2houston.com. Just check that Investigates tab. We're live on the West Side tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.